in the wake of the murder of George Floyd, um, there's been a debate sparked about certain monuments and um, um, that basically we have to make a decision on it, whether they're basically removed, uh, preserved, or basically just taken down. I mean, we've seen many instances in the news a couple, in the last couple of days of just um, people taking to the streets and removing monuments. And I just want to get y'all take on that, how y'all feel about these monuments uh, being taken down or removed. Now, I do want to add a point because I did some research and a lot of these monuments are actually being taken down prior to them being physically removed by protesters and they're mm -hmm. being preserved to be put in museums and um, other different monuments, just being relocated. So I, I wasn't aware of that, so that was news to me, but how do y'all feel about that? What's your take on that? Um, You know, so I think the, the, the first thing I would say is when you think about the fact that we have lived in this country <laughs> that has basically put up monuments, statues, and treasured the history of not only racists, but traitors to the country itself, right? So yeah, I don't think that, you know, all kinds of people in our, in our history have been, in the US history have been racist, but these were actually the Confederacy who tried, they were traitors to the country. You know, they, they were trying to overthrow this government, right? And so, the only legacy of that time period, I mean, I think I said the Confederacy was, you know, I said like less than five years. It's not like they had this long, illustrious history. So when you see people talk about, you know, it's the pride of the South and this and that, um, no, it has nothing to do with just being proud of the South. They realize that something like the Confederate flag and the statues or whatever is an homage to, you know, you know, to racism and when black people were in their place and we don't want to forget those times. So I think it is, you know, I think it's a great thing. Um, and, it's, and it's not happening just here in the US, it's happening all over the world. You know, that oh, yeah, statues are getting heads knocked off all over the world, Belgium, well, uh, because, England. All, yeah, go on, go on. Because Confederate generals advocated slavery and segregation. I mean, why, why would you, want to <laughs> leave something that represents that innate racism that's permeated through this country for years or generations for centuries why would you know it, it is it's interesting again because i don't it, it might have a direct correlation or an indirect correlation to things that have been happening with the george floyd and the Ahmaud and you know all of these these deaths but it took the country unifying and getting fed up for these things to, for this to happen hey yeah. why not yeah i mean you know the, the the simple reason of why is that because that's who this country is that's who this they've always been you know mm -hmm. um there are many great things about the united states um or i wouldn't be here um but the bottom line is we still have to remember that this was a country that was founded on the genocide of the native population and was built by enslavement of black Africans. It is that same country. And so, you know, from, you know, rotten root lead to rotten fruit. So that, so a lot of these things that we're saying, that's just who, who the country is. And I, I saw somebody post something the other day, they're talking about the, you know, the Confederacy. And they say, well, um, Satan is, is actually is really important in the history of Christianity. But if you were to put up statues of Satan around your church, I would probably question your values. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so yes, it, it's a there part of the story, but putting up monuments and statues, mean you put them on a certain level, meaning that you respected them and you honored what they do. We as a country um, respected them, and, you know, so that, so look, but you know, um, we, we, we as a country, no, 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 no well, well, well the, the, the United States as a country, um, mm -hmm. I, I was speaking in, you know, from the standpoint of the typical American, you know, saying that, you know, this, this, this is part of the history of the country and, 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 and they're honoring it. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's, 
you know, there, there is a, you know, I don't hear a lot of people saying, and I agree with this, that in the aftermath of, of the George Floyd killing, you know, we're asking for change in the police and, you know, defund the police, as they say, or repurpose or reimagine them. And we're asking for all, all these things. And then, you know, okay, we'll take Aunt Jemima off the, you know, we'll, we'll discontinue the Aunt Jemima brand. And doing all these things, we'll take down the statue, we'll paint Black Lives Matter which have nothing to do with the, with, the, with the underlying issue. I think these are positive steps for society in general, but as we knock down statues, as we, you know, you know, rename Robert E. Lee's schools to, you know, some other I was schools, just about we have to, ask have to keep question. focus on- Barack Obama issue. High. You know,